Today we'll recap. Uh, gears seem to be number one. Gears are a lot of points, at least in the beginning of the game. The first few gears are worth a lot of points. So it might seem like a simple mechanism, but really hash that out and try to conserve space on your gear mechanism. Because the ball shooting mechanism, if you guys choose to do it, will take up a lot of space, especially ball storage. Uh, and that comes into you really need to read the rules, look at the constraints for height, and just the dimensions of the robot in general take up. You really need to be aware of those. The rope. So the Make sure you guys know the rope, get the rope ordered quickly because uh, it's probably going to go out of stock or just re be familiar with the rules first as allowing each team to bring their own rope. There's a rope inspection process and everything. Uh, so just be aware of that. You want to get that early to practice with um, so you're not cut out later in the build season without a rope. Okay, so so far with our prototype for the uh, for the balls, for the softballs, we've got a flywheel shooter. It's got a four inch uh, just gra uh, traction wheel, right? And it's integrated a one to two ratio with a one of the large stems, and it gets it, it throws the balls pretty high. And we got a really we angle the it's kind of intake shooter where the flywheel's in the center and the ball's taken and thrown up, and it's really got a really high angle of attack, and the balls are falling uh, pretty. Pretty steep, you would say. Yeah, and it's, and it's a pretty consistent uh, trajectory. So. Yeah. Yeah. So. so the next prototype we want to do, hopefully going into the evening, uh, is a prototype to pick up these cogs or gears. Uh, we want to pick them up off the ground, so we're not limited to getting them from a feeder station. Uh, maneuver them around, and we want to place them on the pegs. Uh, we haven't made a ton of progress with that, uh, so stay tuned for that. That'll be the next thing we uh, get to. Okay. So when you're designing your chassis, it's important to remember that the bumper dimensions are included in the total width that your chassis can be. However, the, uh, the rules have kind of changed this year and before you had to have at least 8 inches of frame on your bumpers on each side to protect the corners. Well now it's only 6. So this means you can have wider openings on the front and back of your robot. Uh, so this year we utilized an H design basically so the back end and the front end of our robot are both open so we can use a lot of to pick up the wheels or the uh, balls on either side. On the programming team, we've been able to get the software set up and look at the new latest framework, been able to get a state machine going so that we can organize the robot code and are getting ready as these prototypes are more developed. 